The state of emergency regulations came into effect on March 28. Since the announcement, some people rushed to shops to make sure they have enough stock during this 21 days. However, it was unfortunate that some people only got paid at the end of the month. Hence, they were left with no option but to do their household shopping during the state of emergency. During our news team's drive around the city, it was evident that movement of people and cars around the city could still be noticed, especially at various business and service providing outlets. The first place we visited was multi-choice offices, where a number of people could be seen queued up maintaining the required social distance. The Ochomise business area was rather busy, with long queues outside the shops as only a certain number of people are allowed to enter once at a time. The ATMs also had queues. However, it was disappointing to notice that people here were not practicing any social distancing among themselves. The Black Chain Mall was another busy area, with cars parked outside. Here, the stoves from which the meat kapana sellers usually do business at this area were all chained together around a pole as their businesses came to a halt as a result of the state of emergency. Meanwhile, at the Black Chain Clinic perimeter fence, which is usually a busy business spot for vendors, only boxes of the vendors could be seen piled up. The clinic itself seemed rather quiet at the time we got there. However, the security officer on duty there told the news crew that in the morning it was a bit packed outside as they were trying to maintain social distance on the benches inside the clinic. At Katutura Shoprite, another lengthy queue could be observed outside one of the food outlets. However, here some people tried to maintain social distance. Meanwhile, at the ATMs, it looked rather impossible for people to maintain safe social distance. Another queue of over 30 people was at the Ventu Cash and Carry in the northern industrial area. Despite all these busy activities happening around the capital during month end, law enforcement was also present at some places, such as these traffic officers that we came across escorting trucks from one checkpoint to another, as well as some roadblocks such as this one were also set up at various points to discourage the movement of people to the city CBD or to town. Chilana Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.